I'm Jade Barrett with World Bridge News. I'm talking to Mike Viotti from Bermuda, which he has brought a team. Bermuda is in their first championships here playing in the, in the Worlds. They've, the name of the trophy came from Bermuda, but you guys had never brought a youth team before. No, this is our first time doing anything like this, and uh, it's been a, a bit of a slow road, but we're happy to be here. I, I see that you've had a struggle through all of the matches, but how are the kids holding up? Uh, the kids are holding up great. I mean, yeah, our results haven't been great, but we never came in with the expectation to win, and the kids have just been learning so much, and they've been thrilled just to be here and playing, so that's a victory. You're a new player yourself, so it's been like teaching the blind, teaching the blind, or? Yeah, for the first year of our bridge club, I was only a couple weeks ahead of the students as they were learning, but fortunately we had a lot of help from the Bermuda Bridge Club and experienced players who came in and taught most of the lessons. So that was great. Um, now, yeah, I play, I'm, I'm more seasoned than the kids now, I would say, but for a while it was, we were basically on the same level. Now, you had also played in Chicago last year in the summer, or where was it that you guys had your most, uh, what do you think your best experience has been? I think, and, and I think if you ask the kids, they would say the same thing. Their best experience was playing in the Bermuda Regional. For them, that's when it felt like that bridge was more than just like a little club thing. It felt more serious, and they saw the competitive element a little bit more, and that for them was a big eye-opening moment for them. Now you were able to get into the school because you were a teacher. What do you teach at the at the, at Altus? At Saltus, I teach physics mostly. So the four students who are here representing Bermuda in this tournament were in the first physics course that I taught there, and then from there they joined the Bridge Club, and here we are. Now I heard that you had some difficulties raising money to get here, so I heard that they did just about everything. What are some of the activities that helped in getting here? Yeah, so. Uh, we, we received a little bit of funding, but a lot of, you know, some students, there was some self-funding, but the biggest uh, source of fundraising for us were car washes, which is a big thing in Bermuda. A lot of people like to have their car washed. Uh, so it was, it was actually sort of a built-in audience because after school let out for the summer, we would go to the daytime bridge games. So during the three hour, three and a half hour matches or sessions, the kids would just show up, not play, and just wash cars. And they raised, you know, a significant amount of money towards their trip this way. That's great, and I'm really pleased to see them here. I know that you know I've really helped that you guys would do well, but I think just being here is doing great. And thanks to Mike Viotti. Have a good luck for the rest of the tournament, and we will see you again later today.